it's got to be said, I hope they patch this up because it matters. It actually matters. Yes. So how to how to put this in a way that you guys will all understand how I feel about this tournament of power. It sucks. It actually sucks. So first up, if we just go to our characters, we go to equipments. I think that will say a lot about what you need to know. You take a look. It takes up space. It takes up a lot of space. You know what they should have done? Made two separate equipment stages. Or even better yet, have never made equipment space a limit, right? There, there shouldn't have been a limit. It should have been just this. At the very least, they should have at least separated them between top equips and your regular PvE PvP equips. Because it's clear to me that this mode is not like most PvE events. It is something that they're forcing on you. Which leads me to my next point. They're forcing you to play Tournament of Power if you want Chrono Crystals. If you want the Chrono Crystals that you're missing out on USTR, you need to be playing this mode. And honestly, I was hyped when it was originally released. I was hyped when they were talking about it because they were hyping me up for it. I'm not going to lie to you. I, I, I personally believed like this could be good. But the problem is... It's not a good mode, and one of the biggest reasons for that is the energy. How long it takes for you to get energy. I could see myself actually binging this type of content. My partner said that they would actually see themselves sitting down to play this type of content, and they don't really like playing Dragon Ball Legends. And that, that, that says something. That says a lot about what it, this game is doing. I don't know why they're putting... A five to six hour time limit per energy recovery and why they only started us out with two there was no need for that they should have given us the full five it should have been maybe 20 minutes and i know what the developers are trying to do they're trying their hardest to not let us finish this within a certain time period but come on like this is exactly why they shouldn't have done ranked seasons for this, because it removes the viability of just playing for fun. And I can already see tons of people saying to themselves, yeah, I would play this for fun. Like, this would actually be a good mode, right? If you were able to go through the entire thing, you could fail as many times as you'd like, but you'd be able to go and play it again and find new combinations, find new different styles that work, find new paths that make it doable. And yet, here we are in a situation where <laughs> we can't because you do one fight and you're like, oh, I'm done for the day. Or mm, I'll come back after dinner and it was just lunch. Do you see what I'm saying here? And I know there's going to be people that are going to disagree with me. Those people will lick the, the boots of Bandai and the developers of Dragon Ball Legends, And that's okay. I, I respect that opinion. I actually do. If if you personally love this mode, I respect that and I totally get it. But I, I personally cannot. I just cannot see why you would. As I, Like for me personally, it just, it's just not a good mode. Because of this time limit. Time limits suck. Time gating sucks. Next up, let's talk about battle bonus characters because I think that's a lot of fun. All right, so... You know the traditional PvP, you can play it as many times as you want, no energy required, right? Uh, you know that it gives you different rewards based upon how, if you're winning or losing in PvP. This is something that we all know. We, we get it. We understand it. But what you probably maybe haven't even considered is, why do we have battle bonus characters in this event? Now, think of it this way. Battle bonus characters do exist in PvP. And they do affect your score. So if you uh, are using battle bonus characters in PvP, you can, you know, rank up a little faster. You can get a little bit more items and stuff like that. That's fair. I totally get it. Because usually those battle bonus characters don't fully synergize together. So it's still not an optimal thing to do. Making it rewarding when you do it. So I get it. I'm okay with that. But then you're in this situation where this is PvE. A mode where it's trying to appease to both free-to-play and, well, non-free-to-play, right? 
But then you come to the, the fact where stars now actually matter. A lot more than before because points are accumulated. And I don't know if you guys know this, but points are accumulated a couple of ways. For this mode, how fast you beat the round, how weak are your characters while you're doing the round, and uh, <laughs> do how many of your opponent's characters are alive by the end of the round. Are you o uh, t like o um, KOing all of the opponents? Or is one left when you still win? Like, you got to ask yourself those questions. And then you'll realize why you're not getting as many points. Now, I didn't know this beforehand, so I kind of screwed up. I fecked up is be the best way to say it. So, my points aren't the greatest. They're not bad. I I I'll still be getting season rewards. Um, not great season rewards, but I'll be getting some. And I I'll obviously fix up my mistakes from this season and the next season. But that doesn't change the fact that even if I were the number one player right now, that this, this is for definitely for whales. So let me tell you guys a story about this Digimon game that I played. Because the Digimon game I played is similar to this, except they didn't cap you at energy when you want to play a mode like this. They also did not require you to have extra equips that took up your equipment slots. They just asked you to have specific Digimon, as in like your own team compositions, place them strategically and play it out. It would auto play it for you, right? But this is just insane. Because stars in this one actually do matter. Your damage, your defenses matter in this. The more stars you have, the better this is going to be for you. In PvP, you can actually get away with low stars. I'm not saying you're going to definitely get away with it. You still got to be good at the game. Your, your, your damage has to still be good. You know, you're human. You, you will make mistakes. But there is an argument that stars in PvP don't have to matter dependent on skill level. This doesn't require skill. <laughs> the only skill this requires is knowing how to place your characters. That's it. If you understand that, if you understand all the rules properly, now it just becomes a matter of who has the better stats. Who has better RNG. And when that happens, well, you, you have yourselves a situation where now you have to deal with the fact that, uh-oh, the whales are taking over. Because if, if we take a look at the top players, you're going to be hard-pressed to find anyone with, like, actually low stars beyond, like, Legends Limited units. Legends Limited units, fine. You can find them at three stars, maybe. But you're going to find more, more than not. They're going to be at high stars, like seven or eight sometimes 9 or 10. And, you know, no shade on them, right? Because let's not let's not be mean to, to the whales of the community. They help us out. We're not here to bash them. They're, it's not their fault that this mode is like it is. It, it's, it's Toshi and Bandai. It's the developers. It's basically the people behind this project. And I know this is preseason, so, you know, I'm hoping that a lot of my grievances get patched up that's what I'm hoping. So actually, you know what? I'm going to preface this. Even though I'm going to say this right now, I'm going to preface this at the beginning of my video. So that way, this is the first thing you hear before I get into this rant. And then you're going to hear this again. And I'm, it's going to be like a very, very like deja vu experience. But I just think that, you know, it's got to be said. I hope they patch this up. Because it matters. It actually matters. I, <laughs> I just... I'm baffled because I would love this mode if I could play it. I think that's my biggest issue. I'm not even bothered by the fact that, you know, I could potentially do horribly. And that I could probably never be number one. Not bothered by that. That actually is, is like secondary in my brain. What is primary in my brain is the fact that I have a six hour waiting period. Or a five hour waiting period. Before I can play just one new round. At that point, do I even want to play? And they made me wait for this, right? And th that's okay. And it's in, in like the uh, concept of waiting. But when you're going to take away Chrono Crystals from me, in my USTR, Ultra Space Time Rush, that's the long short of it, long and short of it, and tell me that it's going to be totally worth it because later you'll be able to get in more Chrono Crystals in the next event that's coming out like <laughs> after three USTRs have passed with no Chrono Crystals. Great. Okay, fine. I hope that is something good. 
And then it's whatever this is. In the preseason that it is. So once again, I hope that they fix this. The time timing for this sucks. As in, like, the time gating. The equipments and how they take up space sucks. I hope they patch this up somehow. I don't care how they do it. I just want it to be done in a way that it doesn't affect my current slots. Because this sucks. This actually sucks. I don't want boost units anymore. Because the concept of boost units really ruin this. Because it basically is forcing free-to-play players. And yeah, I have to right now talk about them. Because if you want to be good in PvP, you need to be sticking to specific tags and teams. That means that you have to choose over Tournament of Power and PvP. Now, for those that just play PvE, collectors rejoice. This is your time to shine. But for those that are wanting to play PvP, you're going to find yourself probably not struggling in some cases. But then there will be those seasons where you won't have boost units and boom, you're at a disadvantage. And then you're going to understand what I'm talking about. So, I'm bothered by that. I'm really bothered by that. That, that. that bothers me. So I feel bad for those players. Uh, but on a more positive note, at least the event is out. The update overall hasn't been horrible. So there is that. Could there have been better changes? Yes. Are they probably going to try to patch things up and work on it? Definitely. I hope they are. I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt because I know they've been saying that they are going to do it. But I really hope that they do it. And then we'll see from there. Anyways, guys, that's the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't hesitate to tickle the like button. And if you haven't already, subscribe and click the bell for more notifications so you never miss another video. Yeah, that's right. I said click instead of tickle. You know why? Because I'm feeling angry a little bit today. And don't forget to stay swole out there because uh, your father's getting real swole right now. Stay salty out there. And I will see you in the next video. And God, I'm sweaty. Mana, mana. Bum-dum-bum, bum